Now, continuing with the 287 uh, meter, we're on ohms. As you can see, the selector is on ohms. We can have beeper, and we can have continuity. And if you go to the menu, you can see over here, these are the options that are available when you choose the menu. So right now, since we're on the top one, we have these features available with, with each soft key represented by the one that's on top. So if you want this one, I press F1. If I want this one, F2. If I want beeper, uh, I press F3. Going down, if you want to go down again relative, we have these options. Relative, relative percent. You can press F1, F2, or F4 to close the menu. Relative, you'll see, is usually, since we're open loop right now, we're not measuring anything, is you sometimes you measure like 0 0.1, 0 0.2 uh, on, uh, on when the probes are shorted together. It'll take that measurement and do the calculations automatically for you. That's what relevant is. So if we want to go back menu, let's go back, let's say to beeper. Since we have to go this way, we're going to go sideways. Now, if we want, if we want beeper, and it'll show you continuity. So in other words, when we, it's, it'll beep on a short. So when we short the leads together, it'll show me continuity. That's what this symbol uh, is talking about. Again, now you can also have, you could change the contrast, the display, calibration, a lot of nice features. Like I said, recording is nice, like I just told you about. Uh, if you want to measure current and it's intermittent in your car, you have a parasitic drain, you could put on recording and you'll see the whole couple of hours when you lost the battery voltage or when you had the current drain, which is not available to many other meters. So going back over here, you have to edit it first. To, in order to do that, if you want to close it, go here. Menu again. And now this. This is beeper. Again, when you short the two leads together, this and this are shorted, you're going to get a beep. I'm not on beep, but if you would short them, you would see they beep. Ohms. Regular ohms. If you want to save it, same thing as before. You can put on a file and save it. So that later on, you can compare it to some other measurements. So let's say you're working on a car, right? And you're measuring the mass airflow sensor. Let's say Chevy uh, 2005, whatever. And I'm measuring good sensors. Good sensors. 5 volt, 12 volt references. I'm, I can have those. I can save them on a file. Then the next time when I get the same car, I could go back and view. I can view. I don't have anything in here, but I can view the measurements that I have. Therefore, the next time that I go there, I'm, the next time that I go there, I can compare my measurements to the one that I had in memory in the file. That's a beautiful thing to have. Beautiful thing to have. However, like I said, it's hard to get into it, and it's hard to get out of it. So, like I said, it's a nice feature to have. It's nice, and you have minimum, maximum. For this also, for all measurements, and the time and duration will tell you, just like AC volts and DC volts. So basically, it's the same thing like before, but again, $600, $700, you know, for 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 what for automotive, it's something great, but it is costly and, like I said, it is confusing at first. But I hope you enjoyed the videos. Talk to you another time.